One of the OEM specific features that FCA offers to its technicians is the loss of COM test. This allows technicians to monitor whether or not an ECU is responding on the CAN bus system. This helps in diagnosing issues related to the CAN bus system and ECUs that are intermittently not becoming responsive. The YTEC 2.0 loss of COM test works in a similar fashion as the loss of COM test in YTEC 1.0. Select the Loss of COM Test tab on the left side of the screen and then select Start Test when you are ready. The Loss of COM Test runs directly on the MicroPod and pings all ECUs that are built on the vehicle every 100 milliseconds or 10 times per second to confirm that a positive response is received from the ECU. If the ECU responds positively, it will continue to count up the number of positive requests and display a zero in the column labeled Number of No Responses. If the ECU responds negatively, then the number of times the ECU does not respond will add up in the no response column and will be highlighted red. You will notice that the number of requests for the ECU is less than the ECUs that are reporting positively. This is expected behavior since the YTEC 2.0 cloud is not receiving any response from the ECU and is waiting longer for the response from the ECU. With YTEC 2.0, the user can also filter the view and display only desired ECUs. There is also the option to only view ECUs that are appearing as non-responsive. This is done by selecting the Show ECUs with No Response button. Now let's put this into practice. Say the customer comes in complaining with the radio intermittently cutting out. The technician verifies the concern and notices that it only occurs when going down a bumpy road. The technician connects the YTEC 2.0 to check for DTCs, and upon connection, the technician discovers that there are several stored communication codes present for the AMP. The technician removes the corresponding panels to access the AMP and does not notice any problems with the connectors at the AMP. The technician then performs a wiggle test at the connector while running the loss of COM test in YTEC 2.0. The technician does not see the AMP or any other ECUs showing up as red. Upon disconnecting the amp, the technician does see that the amp does become unresponsive while having the loss of COM test running. Next, the technician will perform a wiggle test on the rest of the harness to confirm that all wiring is good to the ECU. The technician notices that when a particular part of the harness is moved, the amp intermittently becomes unresponsive. Further investigation at the point in the harness shows that the power circuit to the amp is intermittently becoming open due to a corroded wire. Once the necessary wiring repairs are made, the issue is no longer present upon further investigation. That's all for this video. For additional information about YTEC 2.0 and its various features, consult the YTEC 2.0 Knowledge Base or contact the YTEC Premium Support Help Desk.